In this video, we're going to be exploring how to find k in a probability density function. So if I bring up a typical exam question, here we're told that the queuing time, x minutes, of a customer at a tilt of a supermarket has probability density function fx, 3 over 32x, times k minus x, where x is between 0 and k, and it is 0 otherwise, we're asked to show that the value of k is 4. Here we have clearly got a function which is a quadratic, because we have, if we were to expand this bracket, we would have a quadratic equation. Therefore, finding the area underneath it we're going to have to use integration. This video is going to focus on finding k using integration. So what do we know? We know that this function, the integral of the function, is equal to 1. So we're going to use that fact in order to find k. So we're going to do the integral of our function, the lower limit being 0, the upper limit here is k. And we're going to find the integral of the function. I'm going to take the 3 over 32 out of the integration as this will make it easier for us. So again, limits are between 0 and k. And then if I expand what we do have left, we've got kx minus x squared. And of course, this equals 1. So now when we integrate, Remember, we have to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power of x. So this will be kx squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3. And this is between 0 and k. And all of this equals to 1. So now if we substitute in our upper and our lower limits, we're going to have 3 over 32 outside of... Substituting k into this, we will get k times k squared, which will give us k cubed over 2 minus k cubed over 3. And our lower limit, if we substitute 0 into both of these fractions, it will give us nothing. And all of that is equal to 1. So now if we then expand the bracket, we're going to have 3k cubed over 96, sorry, over 64. And we're going to have 3k cubed over 96 here, and that equals to 1. We multiply through by 64, we'll be left with 3k cubed minus 192k cubed over 96 equals 64. These two cancel to leave us with 2k cubed. So we'll have 3k cubed minus 2k cubed equals 64, which means that k cubed is 64, so k is 4. So by using the fact that the integral of the function, the integral of the entire function, the area under the entire curve, is equal to 1, has enabled us to work this out. And for this example, we've had to use integration. In the next video, we're going to look at a circumstance where we don't necessarily need to integrate in order to find the value of k. However, we'll still be using the idea that the integral 
of fx is equal to 1 between all of its limits.